Ok. Hello, Alvaro. Hi. Can you present yourself? Of course, my name is uh, Alvaro. I'm a 32 years old PhD uh, in physical anthropology, especially in uh, paleopathology of fetuses and children. When did you finish your PhD? Quite recently, actually, in uh, January the 10th. And how long did it take you for finishing? Well, it was supposed to last four years, but because of COVID, uh, I have to uh, last a year, uh, more years, so five years. And uh, did you have a grant during your studies? Yes, I have a Portuguese grant from 2016 to 2020. And was it easy for you? To get the, the mm. grant or yeah, to do to the get the, to get the grant? Well, actually, uh, I got the grant at the first time I, I, I tried. Mm, and the PhD process is quite complicated and we have to be careful with some signs of your body and your uh, head. And uh, was the grant enough for you? for uh, like uh, making your life out of it? Yeah, of course. Um, in my case, it was not a lot of money, but to live in Portugal, it was quite nice. Yeah. And what was the hardest moment for you during the PhD? Maybe the last moment when you decide to start writing and organizing all the results. I think that uh, a PhD student uh, should have a very organized plan uh, and also uh, some alternatives because always always um, things could um, go wrong uh, and, and you have to act in that moment and did you have to change your topics from the moment you started I have to change um, the methodology I use I started using uh, scanning electron microscopy but then I have to change for a magnifying glass. It was um, it was difficult at that time, but then since then I realized that the change we, uh, was actually better, and and I achieved, in my opinion, better results uh, than those uh, that I would uh, acquire with uh, the the scanning electron microscope. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's this is the process that is constantly changing. No, your you're adapting yourself, no, to, to yeah, it. Yeah, of course. I, in fact, I think that my my project, when I when I send the the, the, the project, it's quite uh, different from the final product, and that's something that always happens. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, mm, a PhD student have uh, has to um, to read a lot, and that that reading. It's fundamental to create and elaborate uh, a more powerful uh, work. A lot of people are complaining on the, the process of PhD as being extremely hard and also like influencing a lot mental health. Did you have the same experience? I had. I had. Um, people say that the PhD process is a very lonely process and it's uh, actually completely true. Uh, and uh, PhD the student has to um, to be to be alone several times, but at the same time uh, it has to avoid um, um, be um, far from their friends. He, he he or she has to socialize and um, organize his or her uh, time. In my in my case, I didn't do that. I regret a lot, and actually, I am visiting a, a psychotherapist. But it is also a very uh, good decision if you feel that your uh, mental health is not uh, as um, good as as it was. And what would be your advice for young people who are thinking should they start their PhD or not? Thinking very well and on your project and and uh, and the process, think uh, always possible alternatives, and uh, if uh, the PhD is something that you want to do, uh, go for it. Thank you so much, Alvaro. Thank you.